I'm at Matthias. I'm here in Scotland to see how a council works under STV. I'm at Certain Stage, which is an arts academy, and I'm going to be speaking to Dougie Reid, the leader of East Ayrshire Council, to talk about what it's like to run a council, what it's like to deal with other parties that have been elected through STV. Hi, I am Douglas Reid. I'm leader of East Ayrshire Council. Uh, I'm also the ward member for Kilmarnock Central West and Chris House. Well, uh, in many ways we are con consensus, but we've evolved. It's not always been that way. You know, I've been a, a councillor now for 30 years, so I've experienced uh, uh, both, you know, uh, forms of voting, and uh, I've experienced very much. I was leader of opposition for a amount of time, and it can be adversarial. It still is. It still we still have uh, arguments, but uh, in terms of working together, I think we deliver more when we work together uh, and, and, and come to conclusions together. I think we've got to uh, respect one another and I think it's a wee bit more respectful uh, because you know the person that you're dealing with a wee bit closer because you have to because you're, you know, you're, you're, you're uh, making deals with them and you, you, know, uh, you know you get to know people and just you know what's motivating them sometimes their motives although they're a different political party from you they still really you get to understand that they really care about their communities too so you, you, you try and find commonality there and uh, and, and, and work in that where you, where you can. There are also subtle differences that you'll, 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 never, uh, you'll, you'll never change and those are respected too. But I think it's the respect thing uh, has changed, you know, whereas we don't, it's not, so, you know, it's not like Westminster, this can add or stereo where folks shout, we need to change that democracy, I mean, it's, you know, and they really need to take a lesson for local government how we do business. Well, I can go back to, you know, when the council was, there was 30 members in the council. I think at the time there was uh, 8 SNP and 22 Labour. And uh, I remember the, the Labour whip at the time, who was all powerful, very all powerful at the time, uh, said that his group was too big. Uh, it was really hard for him to organise, you know, and we've learned to, you know, to, to work together. Yeah. Uh, and our attitudes have t changed as well a wee bit. Uh, we're not quite as hostile, and we're, you know, uh, and I think that it makes for a good council. It makes for you know more kind of. I think we have more in-depth decisions, more probing, uh, in terms of uh, you know, and I, I think it helps officers too to get a steer of where they're going, and decisions are made a wee bit more logically. And I think we're more prone to working very much, even more locally. I think that's something we, we will all support. OK, I'm Claire Maitland and I'm the councillor for Kilmarnock South Ward 5 in East Ayrshire. And, um, I, I think I was a new councillor in 2017 and um, wandered in quite naive. I, I thought I was quite streetwise but wandered in and realised how naive I was. But what I love is the way we work together, not just as a group but with the other groups as well. I mean, people who you are diametrically opposed to politically, we can sit down and sort things out. I think it's maybe um, allowed more councillors to come through than would have come through. So people like myself might not necessarily have got through a few years ago, but this this time I did. Although I did get through in the first round, so I, I did get through. But I, I think it's um, and especially the gender balance as well. So gender balance along with the MST has helped bring more women into it too. So um, th there's less barriers to being a councillor. I, I said to Doogie, I, I don't like adversarial politics. I, I hate the way they do things in Westminster. I hate the bang bang and the oh, the growling and the. Uh, it's just ridiculous. You know, you've got decisions to make, and, and these are very important decisions about our local community. Everybody goes out and votes for Westminster. Everyone goes out and votes for Holyrood. But when it comes to getting things done, it's your council that has to implement all of these. And perhaps I didn't appreciate that at the time, and it's perhaps something that the public don't appreciate because we don't put out there. Our council put forward a consensus budget and I don't think we get the recognition from that, either nationally or e even locally. Um, if your council wasn't working, you would know about it. It would be in the local papers, it would be on social media, everyone would be complaining. And I, I think it is actually because of the single transferable vote that we have to do it in this order. I mean, Doogie, the leader, was talking there earlier about being in opposition and the other times, and I did say to him when I was standing, I'm quite nervous about this, I don't want the adversarial, I've always been front-facing, customer care friendly, all that kind of thing. I don't want to have to stand up and listen, or stand up and shout or listen to shouting and bawling. So I don't think I'd be a councillor if it was still the first past 
the post system. In fact, I wouldn't, I wouldn't stand if it was first past the post system, largely because I do associate it with the adversarial. Uh, you'll, you'll get better government, you'll get better outcomes for your communities. So if you're just looking at your communities, there's less faffing about, as we say up here, and it's, it's just getting on with things. It's finding common ground. Um, that doesn't mean it's watered down in no way, believe me, and Doogie's um, more partial to the, the inner workings of the meetings with the other council leaders, etc. And I know that they just get on with it and they, we work very well with our officers as well. So I, I think when, when you see the news, when, when you um, see social media, when you see how the parties talk to each other, that is not how we talk to each other when we do business. Not in this council, possibly in others, but certainly not in this. And I wouldn't be standing again if it was. I'm in a windy and windswept Kilmarnock to speak to John Hurd, a local Conservative councillor, to learn a little bit more about his experiences of being on the council here. The politics is put aside. Certainly it is in the council chamber, mostly put aside and we do work together with a common consensus for the good of everybody. I understand that is not the case in other councils but it is the case in our council and I hope that continues but certainly on a ward level we really don't have any difficulty I'll work with anybody. I've had a great day here in East Asia talking to councillors and I think the thing that comes through is that politics is done a little bit different here. It's all about consensus, it's all about talking, it's a really good way of doing democracy. I would say to the Welsh councillor, get a proportional system in place now and you'll have better councils, you'll have better outcomes and you might even have better councillors. <laughs> If you're a councillor in Wales and you do want to know more about this, please get in touch with Electroform Society Cymru.